quite easily do they burn. These bandits are not uh, the smartest creatures in the realm. Keeping a saber tooth caged up. I'm sure the caged saber tooth has a lot more fury inside him than the uh, the ones that wander the wilds. And I know even the ones that wander the wilds are quite a match. Hmm, perhaps I should free the saber tooth from his bonds. Allow him to take some vengeance on his captors. Wouldn't that be a nice thing to do? Hmm, a thug and another bandit. Surely the regular bandit is weaker than his thuggish counterpart, hmm? Uh, they sure aren't searching very hard for me. Oh look, there is an arrow in that man's chest. Let us only look around this spot where he was slain. Good idea. Fantastic thought. And that fellow nailed in his chair. <laughs> ah, sit, sit, sit. Enjoy forever. How's that, Mr. Thug? You still don't see me? Astonishing. <laughs> Quite a bit dumber than they look, I do think. Ah, Brandar was not detected at all. A creature of the night he is. Look at how peaceful. Oh, except that arrow in your throat. But I shall leave it. Just in case anyone else comes through. A lesson should be learned, hmm? Ah. They seem to have a good amount of food stored up here. Rabbits, salmons, pheasants. My goodness. They're having quite a good time, I think. Oh, and I knocked the wine over when I killed this man. I'm so sorry. That is not what I meant to do. No crying over spilled wine. I do have a good amount of, uh, meads and wines here. Impressive. It's just a shame that they don't have a bit of gold for Brandar. Hmm, cooking up some leeks and potatoes, yes. All for me now. <laughs> ah, and I hear voices from up. But we could also check this chest, which is down. Yes. These things are quite good. My bag is getting quite heavy, though. I should leave behind this banded iron armor. And if anyone should follow me in here, once it is cleared out... They could perhaps sell the armor and feed their family. Yes, Brandar's quite the humanitarian, he said as he shot a sleeping man in the chest. Ah, <laughs> oh, a shame when that happens. It's not funny. But, uh, I hope that he was having a good dream, yes? Hmm. A book of orcs. But I care not for this. I know all I need to know about orcs, if you want me to be quite honest. Good at combat, but smell quite bad. Simple. Ah, this knapsack has quite a few goods. Silver. Ah, I do love silver. Hmm. And I believe I picked up a kettle, yes. Let us store this in the in the sack. How's that? Oh, the sack. The, I thought the sack would look more bulbous afterwards, but it seems not. Hmm. There's a fellow up here talking to himself. Hello there. Well, I think he did see Brandar. He almost went for his uh his bow, but it was a bit too late. Ah, Skuma. Skuma, mead, wine. They drink all the poisons here. Brandar has lar largely given that up, but uh, I wouldn't be against sharing a bit of Skuma if I were to find some compatriots in a tavern that did not seem that they were involved with any law enforcement. Because who wants a part in that, hmm? 
be locked up in a cell again simply for sharing some goods. Hmm. Not good at all. Look at all these books. These bandits seem quite well read. I can at least say that for them. Brandar does appreciate uh, anyone who takes good care of their reading materials. Hmm, and this is a book about Khajiit. Yes. Fascinating. We shall take this one. Perhaps give it a little read later. Nords arise. Hmm. I like this as well. Do not bow to the yoke of a false emperor. Be true to your blood and to your homeland. Hmm, yes. This nationalism. Does Brandar's heart well. Even if Brandar has been exiled from his home, I still feel that elsewhere is the best land of all. Hmm, and I think everyone should feel that way about their homeland. And if you don't like your homeland, it's probably because you have not traveled so far from it. Go, travel far and wide, compare it to other places, and see the majesty, how it stacks up. Hmm? Hmm, and there's that caged saber cat. One of my brethren locked in a cage. And he does detect me up here. Oh my. Some outlaws. They've got their eyes on me. Come this way. Oh, look at them all marching in formation. So cute. How's this? Oh, there's so many of them. Oh my. Let us have a, a little run. Back it up, back it up. Hide away, hide away. Oh! They are just as fast as Brandar. For some reason I felt that I could outrun them. Perhaps they had been laying here getting fat. Mercy, they say. <laughs> Not today, my friends. How's that? You see your friend? He has burned. As will you. You have been routed. By the kitty. <laughs> Victory is mine. Kneeling will do nothing for you. Had you let me simply have my way and walk around in here freely, I would not be forced to do this. But as it is, you have it your way. Well enough. Hmm, and none of them has anything. An amethyst. Hmm, it's not even that good of an amethyst. Brandar is no jeweler, but I do know that it should not be uh, clouded like this. Oh, and the saber cat seems to want out as well. Hmm. I don't think I'll be making that mistake. Saber cats know no loyalty. If I should let him out, surely he would eat Brandar as well, hmm? Yes, look at the way he eyes me. Terrifying. Oh, you seem to be uh, a bit stuck. Have you read the, the book of Winnie the Pooh? <laughs> sort of reminds me of that. A tale my mother used to tell me, yes? Hmm. Not trying to hide, little friend. Just trying to get a, a good vantage point. How's this? Oh, he's slippery he is. Yes, you can stay just there. Hmm. I always seem to hide from Brandar. Well, well, well. I suppose I could take him face to face. I'm sorry for this fellow cat. But I know about your kind. And your kind are not kind. So this is how it must be. Look, even being burned. Hmm. He knows nothing of uh, friendship, you know, brotherhood. 
He doesn't care at all. Hmm. Well, they have a bit cooking here. At least these bandits do know how to eat. Cage key. Nice. He should come in quite handy. A drought of health as well. Hmm. I need to conserve my health potions. Ah, and I've got uh, very little space for these things to fit into my pack. Perhaps I should leave them here for now. Hmm. This looks like a human heart. Hmm. They've been up to some nefarious things in here. My goodness, all of this ore. Impressive. And I will just take the gold. Mmm. And the delicious sweet roll. A bit of jewelry. Yes, this is nice. Mm-hmm. Well enough. These things shall serve me. Mmm. All of this ore and things I will have to leave behind. Oh, look at this angry fellow. Are you, are you angry about your life? You're stuck in a pit. I would be angry too. I don't blame you at all. I think you should have a much better life as a pincushion, hmm? <laughs> ah, come on up, fight me if you can. If Brandar were the one being shot full of arrows, I would be scratching at the walls to climb up. This fellow seems, uh, contented. Oh, so slippery. Why would you not just accept your fate, hmm? Relax. Embrace the, the silence and darkness forever, hmm? I'm sure the gods would be merciful. Merciful just like Brandar is. Oh my. Seem to have missed again. There we are. Right in the chest. Enjoy your sleep. <laughs> and I uh, seem to have shot quite a few arrows into that post. Whoops. Avoid the water as best as possible. Might you have some more treats for me here? No, only cups and plates. None of this. Let's have a look at this fellow. Hmm, lockpick, potions... Yes, I know what to do with these things. And it seems this place has been cleared well enough. Ah... See the exit just this way. I can smell the fresh air. Ah... A <sighs> little bit of water never hurt anyone. Just keep my toes wet, hmm? Uh, as little as possible, I suppose would be the way to go. Here we are. Oh my. There might be fresh air this way, but there are also more bandits. Ah, Brandar, calm your nerves. There we go. Take a deep breath. What was that? What was that? Are you asking me? <laughs> Brandar is not going to be the one to tell you. Oh, a bit of a knife fight going here. No one ever comes away unscathed from a knife fight, you see? I hope you've learned a lesson here today, my friend. And that will stick with you. <laughs> Ah, see him run. He runs so fast. Ah, gold ingot. Far too heavy for me to carry. Well, the next adventure to explore this place will surely be in for uh, a good amount of loot, hmm? My goodness. The exit is just that way, I believe. Perhaps it's that way. Hmm. Rendar seems to have forgotten already. That is the trouble when I find my way into these caverns. 
Hmm, hello, friend. Another little chest you have for me, huh? Wonderful. <laughs> Found me you did. But a bit too late, huh? Ah. Let us see what you have over here. Ah, Orcus Sword of Shocks. There is so much good. Ah. If only I had a bit more space. We should surely uh, head to the vendor. Ah, oh, call to arms scroll. I don't uh, usually take along a companion, but it does seem to uh, seem that it would sell for a pretty price, huh? Scroll of mayhem. Hmm. I could get behind that. Yes, and the rest of this can stay. Brandar needs to keep his pack light, or as light as possible. To be completely honest, it is uh, already putting a bit of a creak in my back. But what am I going to do? Leave behind all these goodies? <laughs> I don't think so. Not today. Yes, here is the exit. Quite a good job we did in there. I think that someone should find this place and be quite pleased that it has been cleared out. But you know, the bandit scourge never seems to end. Hmm. Darkness does seem to be approaching. There's a fort just across the way as well. Hmm, Brandar's tempted to have a look inside, but uh... First I must unload my pack. Somewhere. Must find a town or some such. Especially now that Richard is not here to help me carry such things. Hmm. I think dogs up that way. Dogs everywhere I go. They smell me just as I smell them. And the feud? Hmm. Never ends. Solitude. Randar might quite like some solitude. Sounds like quite a lovely place to take a load off. Hmm, I wonder how far it is from here. This is the trouble with Skyrim. They don't uh, put distances on any of their signs. Oh my. What happened here? Hmm? Here we go. Oh my. Vampires, huh? I thought you might be worth talking to. Fortunately not. Fledgling vampires. They shall burn. Quite easily do they burn. See this? Mm-hmm. Much as suspected. Not even in a group are they worth killing. Ah. They think they are so strong. Look at my everlasting power. Oh, is that so? They seem to have killed some vigilance of Stendar. Hmm, unforgivable. Stendar, Srendar to the Khajiit. The god of forgiveness. But an atrocity like this cannot be forgiven. I shall send them to meet Srendar. See if they can ask for the forgiveness for themselves, huh? <laughs> ah. Nevertheless, Brandar uh, hopefully has given some vengeance to those, those people who have fallen. Although if they followed the God of Forgiveness, they had probably forgiven the vampires even as they were attacking. Hmm. And they seem to have no weapons with them. No clothes. Perhaps the vampires stole it, but uh, then I think I would have seen two sets of clothes, two sets of weapons. My, look at this mountain. What a ways up, huh? I suppose we should try it. Nothing but a few foxes here. Don't be scared of me, little friend. I'm not here to do you harm. 
I wouldn't have room in my pack for your pelt anyways. <laughs> uh, well, wandering the woods once, are, once more we are. Ah, quite relaxing, if I do say so. And here, I recognize this. This is where we were asked for the toll, was it not? Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're gonna have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. <laughs> 200 gold. What if I tell you I don't have any money? That's a real shame. Gonna make it hard for you to pay a healer after we cave your skull in. Never should have come here. Oh, is that right? Where are you? <laughs> ah, a little tap, and off she goes running. Hmm, but she is alerting her friends. Perhaps now is not the time. Randar will flee before the arrows start to bite. But I do have uh, some plans to go and find the gold they have there. I don't think those are uh, government enforced toll collectors at all, are they? Indeed not. The government is not nearly so violent. They will simply put you in jail and let others do violence to you. <laughs> oh, never should you trust them, is my point. So it seems we are uh, heading back. Hmm. Perhaps Princess Ally has found her way here as well. Yes. I don't think Richard would go this this far. Probably he has returned to uh to White Run, yes? Hmm. Quite curious. I do remember most of this. But we passed by before. In the fog getting so thick. I can hardly see my hand in front of my face. Hmm. I think this is where we found the necromancers, yes? Hmm, indeed. They burned to piles of ash. Well, nothing more than they deserve, I suppose. Hmm. It seems a, a kingdom over there. If we could find a way to cross the water. I'm unsure if Corvan Jund is this way. Poor little wolf. Did not know what you were up against, hmm? Smelled cat, decided to bite. Mistake of your life. Last mistake of your life. <laughs> ah, this fellow just wandering the road. I hope not another vampire. Does not look like it. Hello there. That fire under control, right? Of course. Uh, greetings to you. I'm collecting ingredients to bring to the gourmet. He'll think my taste so refined when I offer them to him. You have heard of the gourmet? Oh yes, of course. Farewell. One, two, three.